Return on equity shareholders funds. This ratio is different from return on shareholder funds because the return on shareholder funds will compare the profit after tax with shareholder funds. But here we are going to compare profit after tax and preference dividend with equity shareholder funds. Okay. Now what difference it makes? See, in return on shareholder funds, it's only the profit after tax that is being looked into and entire shareholder funds were used for comparison. So it means the shareholder funds will include the preference shareholders also. So there is a share for preference shareholders in the profit also, right? But this ratio talks in more or in particular about the equity shareholders who are the real owners of the company. So what profit is available for equity shareholders? From profit after tax, the preference dividend should be paid and whatever the profit left after paying this preference dividend, only that would be available for equity shareholders. So that's why profit after tax and preference dividend is compared with equity shareholders funds. So this ratio will be calculated as profit after tax and preference dividend divided by equity shareholder funds. So this is also called as return on equity shareholder funds and there are five classification in this. The first ratio could be the earnings per share, two is cash flow earnings per share, three is dividend per equity share, four dividend payout ratio and five dividend yield ratio. We'll see each and every ratio in the subsequent sessions.